All right, welcome back to Rune Factory Frontier. So let's, uh, wait, I don't need to write in my journal. We need to go to sleep before we collapse. Um, I'm just trying to think here. We have, oh, it's not raining today. Oh no, that means we have to actually do things. Um, and I don't think our new elephant loves us enough. Nope. So, we're gonna have to do some watering, probably some cutting of grass. Got to figure out which animal can cut grass. Because we're gonna definitely need to be doing that, too. Um, so let's start with the grass cutting first. I do want to plant some more fodder eventually, but... We also have to figure out where we get silver. I'm assuming deeper down into the... Um, into the lava ruins we'll be able to find some, I hope. Um, looks like our cabbages are ready here. Yeah, they are. Um... Okay, that animation takes way too long. That's kind of ridiculous. But we'll end up just planting some more turnips. Just because I don't know if we'll have enough time to make the cabbages grow. Oh, there goes a net. Delivering the mail. It was our little squirrel doing his job, which is collecting the plants on our field. So next season, though, we should be in a much better place for money making because we'll have almost everything automated. And I hope we have enough to uh, expand our forge area because I definitely want to do that so we can get more items in so that when we do finally find silver ore, we can make the upgraded watering can. Because yeah, this burns through a lot of our RP very quickly. You know, I may actually just pick up these cabbages just so that we can plant our turnips and be done with this area for now. We still haven't gotten a fishing rod yet either, so I have no idea how fishing works in this game yet. Ooh, and we're gonna have to go to Whale Island too because I'm thinking our moon drops are gonna be fully grown by now. So they should be in bloom, I think, I hope. All right, so let's plant some more turnips. All right, and we'll put the cabbages in our box here. We're gonna sell that leather belt. We're gonna sell this leather belt. Actually, that almost might be an upgrade. It's a side grade, anyway. Let's see. Because the leather belt is what? Um, torso piece. So our torso is max HP 10, 8, and 4. Yeah, it gives us some more HP. Let's do it. All right. We'll be able to make better stuff because we're getting higher level items too from places now too, so that's always helpful. Uh, we're gonna sell that. Problem is our inventory is starting to get kind of disgusting here. 
And it's because of all this scrap iron. Alright. How much lumber do we have? Because we might be able to get Cross to start doing stuff for us. We have a lot of feed, 170 pieces, so that's good. Um, 180 lumber pieces. I don't know if that's enough. Could try chopping some of this stuff down, I guess. Okay, why did we pick that up? I did not mean to do that. I was just trying to charge up our axe here. There goes all of our RP. Luckily, we have a lot of jams, so it's not an issue. I almost want to put it on, like, our quick guide here. Will this work? Oh, that does work. Beautiful. Look at that. Alright, I like that. Quick menu there. Alright. So that actually works pretty good. Okay, so we need our brush. And we're gonna brush you, because you're new. Hey there. And we're gonna brush you, because you're new. Hey there. Let's see if they like us enough now. Oops, wrong button. No, not yet. Okay, so that's all we're gonna do here. Actually, we're gonna grab our wolf. Hey there. Okay, I didn't really want to pet it, but I wanted it to come with us. Okay. And then we're gonna have a chat with... the carpenter. Should also try and collect some more cherries so that we can make more of this jam. Is he here? He is here. Okay. Let's go have a chat with him. See if we have enough lumber. I don't know if we do have enough lumber. The music is so ominous. I'm not sure I like it very much. Monsters there are resistant to fire and weak against ice. Okay. Good to know. Thank you for letting me know, buddy. Um, we'll give you a strawberry. Probably get rid of that weed, too, but... This tastes... I'd like to expand my house. What do you want? I want to build a forge. I want a cool forge area. To install a forge. Okay, that's fine. To build that, you're gonna need 240 lumber? Oh, we're not near that. No problem. No, we can't do it. Alright. We'll have to do some lumber cutting at some point, too. Grumble, 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 grumble. 240 pieces. But I don't think we can put more items until we get... <sighs> Let's go get some more cherries, because those are useful. We just have to make sure that we go up to the whale island today, too. Oh, what? What is she doing here? Hello. Morning. Morning. Well, are the fish biting? Somewhat. Oh. And what's wrong? Do you want to fish too, Ragna? I've had this for a long time. If you'd like, you can have it. We got a cheap pole! Thank you. How do you use the fishing pole? You have to first equip the fishing pole and stand in front of the water, then press the A button to fish. 
When the fish gauge is blue or green, press the A button to, or pull the rod. You can catch better fish when the gauge is green. But if you pull the rod when it's red, the fish will get away. Practice makes perfect. Hmm. Well then. Okay, we... What's the difference between like a battle... Can we use the battle hammer on the trees too? Because if that's the case, we may just put away the... Um... Oops, I didn't want to get down. We got a fishing rod, so that was exciting. I was wondering when we'd get one. So that's very exciting, okay. Yeah, this hammer works too. But it doesn't have a special attack, so... I wonder if he uses more stamina than the other one. Alright, let's pick up all these little cherries. We may actually... I don't know if we'll go to the lava ruins. We might still go to the lava ruins, but we're gonna... I need to chop lumber, too. those down. No cherries for anybody except for me. We need them to make all of the cherry jam. So that we have unlimited RP and we don't have to worry about taking baths anymore. Although, I was enjoying visiting that one girl so that we can maybe get her to like us more. I think there's another one. It's either in this tree or this tree. It might be in this one. Yeah, there we go. It's probably best to like wait a few days for everything to kind of respawn. I don't know. Let's get to. Ooh, she's here. Okay, let's give her a turn up. Uh. I, I do love it here. It's wonderful. Just wonderful. Oh, he's already gathering everything. Okay, good. We're gonna have to... Alright, go back to the barn, because you're kind of in the way for now, buddy. We'll grab you in a minute here. We need to also grab the strawberries from our box. Today might be a bath day. Although if we can get enough lumber, we might still be able to do the expansion on our home, but we won't be able to buy the forge until the holiday anyway. Which one are we even eating? Is it the level 1 stuff or the level... Actually, now that I look at it, that actually doesn't take up inventory space when it's in here. Interesting. How interesting. Saves inventory space. What about, like, this custom? Oh no, that doesn't save any inventory space. Mm, that's unfortunate. But at least putting consumables in there does, so that's kind of nice. Yeah. 
I figure if we chop all the little blocks, then our pet will focus on the big ones, which I find really annoying to get rid of. And hopefully by tomorrow, our elephant and our other ant will be ready for gathering, I hope. Alright, how much lumber do we have now? We need 240. Oh, interior. 232, we're almost there. Eight more. Seven more. Two, three. We may as well just burn through our RP here. And we'll go take a bath and then we'll head up to Whale. Well, we'll go see Cross and then we'll head up to Whale Island. Alright, that should be enough. Let's go grab our strawberries from in here. Throw that in there. We want the yellow grass, because that's important. Um, we're going to sell our battle hammer. We're never going to use that. Okay, everything else we're going to keep for now. Might as well... Well, we could sell our level 1 thin sticks. I don't know. Alright. Let's go see Cross. Have him expand our home, because we have enough lumber, finally. I guess today is not going to be a lava ruins. Well, it might still be. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. Is he still working outside? He is. I think it's going to cost us 20,000 Gs, which is fine. We've got, we've got money. I want to build a forge. And I want a cool forge area. Or creepy? Let's make it creepy. Yes. No problem. There we go. Thank you. It's finished. Alright. That was quick. I like that we don't have to wait for it to be built, like in, you know, Harvest Moon and Story of Seasons games. Normally when you do that sort of stuff, it's usually like a day or two or three for the construction to complete. But again, this is kind of different because there's like a story... Not that there isn't a storyline in those games either, but, you know, there's combat and stuff as well. It's not just farming. Although... The farming is pretty important. We haven't seen Rosetta in a while. I should give her a strawberry. Welcome. Oh, the is so yes, can never understand why. All right, have a strawberry. Give one to Eunice as well, because she's here. Is this Hello? We have such nice weather. Yes, wonderful. Okay. We also need to buy more recipes too, especially if we're going to get a bigger forge in a couple days here. I want to do more house expansions, but... Because then we can buy everything from the peddler. But... Everything's so expensive. Welcome. That will 
be ten gold. Okay, Nolan is here. Perfect. He gets a strawberry. I kind of want to expand our barn too, so we can get more animals. But we'll see. Because then, really, I'd only have to harvest every three days. Because the cows and stuff only produce once every three days. Alright, let's teleport back to our house. Oh, we can't return from there. Okay, that's fine. I'm wondering if I should buy seeds before summer. Hmm. I'm really hoping that the flowers have bloomed, though. Wait, is that somebody there? Oh no, it's just mist. It's just mist hanging out at our farm. As per usual. It's what she does. Okay, uh... You. Come here. I'm actually uh, curious to know how much the elephant actually waters to. <laughs> Alright, time to see if our flowers have bloomed. This is exciting. It said four days, and I think it's been four days since we've been watering. Yeah, we probably will still have time to go to the Lava Ruins, I hope. Unless this leads us into new areas in Whale Island. In which case, then we won't have time to go to the Lava Ruins. I like that we have, like, two places to, like, explore at, like, one. Like, we always have the Whale Island, which is, like, the overarching area that we're exploring. And then we have these other ruins that we have to kind of make our way through as well, so. Oh, we were going to bring Neutralizer to see if we could get rid of that poison stuff too, but. Oh well. No, out of the way. Eh. Can always just kill it. Oh, we should pick that up though. This wolf definitely makes a huge difference, though. I'm assuming we could probably ride the cows, too, though. But did we come too early? Well, we probably have to come at, like, 6 o'clock. Because I think that's when she kind of comes out, right? Yeah, I think it might be too early. But the flowers are ready, and they're blooming. But I want to see what happens if... Because we didn't get the scene either. Like, normally when we run down there, we get the scene, right? So... I guess I could open this. I think we have another one. Um, throw in the water rune stone. The fire crystal will take that. An aquamarine will take that. And a pendant that is probably not any good, but we'll take that and sell it. That's level three. Could be worse.
All right. Now it's evening. So this should work this time. I think we've come at like 6 o'clock before and I think it was fine. We got the cutscene. Because the flowers are definitely blooming, so... What? Nothing. Oh! There we go. Good evening, indeed. It's like he was trying to attack her. Let's chat with her. I didn't expect a guest today. I'm sure today will be good then. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Iris. Uh, my name is Ragna, and I came from Trampoli Village, below the island. Ragna, is it nice to meet you? Please come visit me whenever you want. Oh. Hmm. Here, have a moon drop. Oops. I mean, here, have a moon drop. Thank you. It's a very pretty flower. I'll be sure to cherish it. <laughs> Good evening. I'm enjoying my walk out and I can I go in her house now? I can. Look at this. How exciting. Well, that was kind of uneventful. It was just, hey, nice to meet you. You can come and talk to me whenever you want now. Okay. Thanks. Ooh. How did you get in here? Speaking of which, what's behind that locked gate, Iris? How do I open it? I don't know. I haven't gone very far, so I'm not sure. I thought so. Oh, but there could be a chance that it could just open. That's why you should just check up on it from time to time. I guess. I'll go check it out whenever I come visit you. Oh, you. So you're saying that I'm the main purpose of your visit? Um, kinda. I wish we'd brought more seeds with us, though. But I think what we'll do is we will keep planting moondrop seeds, and we'll just give her a moondrop every time we come up here. So let's grab these. And we'll have to make some more Moondrop Seeds, because I don't want to buy them. And then we'll plant them. I'm pretty sure that it's still going to be... the gate's going to be closed. Because said to keep checking up on it when we visit her. So odds are... It's probably closed. What a surprise. Alright. Um... So let's teleport out of here. Or at least that's one objective kind of done. We'll have to keep visiting her in the evening, though, I think. Maybe the evening? Maybe, oh, actually, maybe now we can visit her whenever we want. I don't know. I have no idea. We could try and kill the chicken again. Odds are we'll probably fail, because we've been failing a lot against that giant overgrown chicken. Oh no, we don't want all of them. Hold on. Just one. Because I don't want to turn them all into seeds, right? So... Although I could just put them... <sighs> I could put them on our field, too. Nah, I don't want to. <laughs> Alright, let's head over to the... Lava Ruins, I think. Because we're still trying to find silver. Because that's important. I didn't even check our forge. He finished the repairs and I kind of ran in and I didn't even look. We'll have to check it when we get back from the ruins here. 
And I haven't even tried fishing yet. I don't know. I feel like there's too many pressing things we have to do. We can't just spend the day fishing. Uh, da, da, da. Earthshade is my favorite weapon. I should maybe consider using... using our staff, but just to level up fire, like, magic, but so I'm assuming it's probably worthwhile leveling up magic, but hit me. Whatever. Got an insect hide. Alright, let's see if we actually get some iron, because we have no more iron left either. Well, copper, at least. And scrap iron. Uh, we don't want more scrap iron. Oh, that's gonna blow them up, I think. <laughs> Still trying to get a thick stick, too, which I'm assuming something in here will drop it eventually. Ooh, we finally made it down deeper. How much time do we have to still explore? Uh, 9.30? We still have a couple hours. All right, we'll take a break here. Next time, we'll keep exploring and hopefully make some headway in, this, uh, in these ruins. At least unlock the shortcut. Uh, to the second floor. But anyways, as always, thanks for watching. Till next time.